Hey everyone, Django Fed here. So I'm back from vacation and received this news that just happened. So right when I was gone, this happened regarding the Nice Old Republic remake. I actually got a notification from Yong Yeah, so I recommend you check out his video on that. Um, this is kind of like my own thoughts of what's happening with Asper Media at this time. But I kind of want to just read over this small little article by Jason Trier and uh, just go over it. So Knights of the Republic game paused amid studio shakeup. So um, we'll read this and then I will give you guys my thoughts. So it's pretty short. <clears throat> A hotly anticipated new Star Wars game is in serious trouble, according to people familiar with the project. Nancy Republic, a remake of a 2003 role-playing game, is uh, delayed indefinitely as developers at Austin, Texas based uh, Asper Media try to figure out what comes next. Uh, what comes next. Asper also abruptly fired the game's art director and design director this month. Not a good sign. In a series of meetings throughout July, Asper's two studio heads told employees that the project is on pause and that the company will look for new contracts and development opportunities, said the people who are not authorized to speak publicly about the situation. This is starting off not great, okay. Uh, Night Seal Republic was to be one of the first modern Star Wars console games released outside of EA, which had previously held the exclusive licensing rights. That deal expires in 2023, opening the doors for new Star Wars games from outside companies like Asper, Ubisoft, and Quantic Dream. The game was announced last September, so last year, and has been in development for nearly three years at Asper, which was purchased by Sweden's Embracer Group AB last year. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, Asper, founded in 1996, was best known as a service shop that brought existing video games to other platforms such as iOS, including the original Nice of Republic. On June 30th, uh, Asper finalized a demo of the game known as a Vertical Slice to show to production partners, Lucasfilm and Sony Group Company, Group Corporation. The developers were excited about it and felt that they were on track according to a person familiar with the project, so they were shocked by what happened next. Okay, so June 30th, things went well, however, something else happened along the way. Uh, the following week, the company fired design director Brad Prince and art director Jason M Miner. Neither responded to requests for comment, but Miner suggested on a social media page that his dismissal was unexpected. Representatives for Asper and Embracer didn't immediately respond to requests for comment. Asper Studio Heads told staff that the vertical slice wasn't where they wanted it to be and the project would be paused, according to two people who were in the meeting. One person familiar with the discussion, discussions suggested that a disproportionate, disproportionate amount of time and money had gone into the demo and that the project's current course wasn't sustainable. Another point of contention might, may be the timeline. At the outset of development, Asper told staff and partners it would release the game by the end of 2022, according to two people familiar with the production. Developers said a more realistic target now would be 2025. Pretty sizable delay. The fate of Star Wars Knights of the Republic remains unclear. In May, Embracer announced that the Saber Interactive would also join the project. Some at Asper believe that Saber, which has mainly been doing outsourcing work for the project, may take it over completely. And that's the end of the article. Now, okay, so let me get into my thoughts. There is a lot to get into. Um, so first off, let's go into Asper. Okay, so if you guys are not familiar with Asper, they're known for not really developing games, but for porting games. So game development is not really their true forte. Um, so they've been doing lots of ports. So here's a list of games that they've ported um, right here. It's a pretty sizable list. And for the most part, I think they've done a pretty good job when it comes to porting games. Pretty good job. I, I As of late, I think I have some complaints with the Knights of Republic on the Switch. I've noticed some bugs that I have never seen before in any other version. And it, it's very weird. Uh, so they kind of not... <laughs> It's a questionable job on the Knights of Republic Switch version. Uh, I'm still playing it, but I'm still having a good time. It's just some of these bugs are just really like noticeable. And then Knights of Republic 2, we just released 
uh, not too long ago, is in a very problematic state. It had a, a game-breaking glitch and RC mod has still has not come out yet. I'm thinking like next month, maybe two months. I think it might be delayed at this point. I don't know. But uh, it's not in a good state right now. Nice Republic 2 and people are still waiting for the restored content mod. So as of late, their porting jobs are kind of questionable, which is not a good sign. Very not, not a good sign. So something's going on there right now. Even for their, these are, these are great porters, but as of late, they have not done a very good job from what I've heard or for what I've seen. Also, I forgot to mention that, uh, as it was mentioned before last year, Asper was acquired by Embracer Group and added under the Saber Interactive label. So when it comes to this stuff, it is always problematic in a sense because sometimes the company, the Embracer Group or some like within Asper, they might want to do things their way. Embracer might see some things differently and they, as I read in the article, they want to do things their own way and actually fire the design director and art directors. Um, despite um, positive feedback from, uh, let's see, where was that? Uh, uh, from Lucasfilm and Sony, they actually were excited about it and felt it was good. Um, and apparently this was four, I, I, I must have forgotten about this, but it was four years in the making when it comes to just this game. And I still think it's in, still in the production phase. Um, but I also think it's kind of ludicrous to think that this game would have come out by the end of this year. I I mean, we haven't seen gameplay, nothing. So this is to show that, you know, that demo that um, they put out, Embracer just did not like it and wants to change the whole thing up, apparently. Um, maybe not the whole thing, but um, quite a bit of it. Um, and they want something differently. And if they don't see it their way, we could see even more delays and not just 2025, which is still, I think it's going to be delayed past that point too. So th this is going to not be good. And I think that's going to be, there's going to be a lot of delays. There's going to be some leadership and management that's just going to leave the project or um, get fired at some point uh, because they're under um, Embracer Group now. So if they don't see things their way, you know, they're going to... You know, they're going to fire some people. They're going to let people go. People are going to leave. And um, this is going to be a massively different project. And who knows if this <laughs> this game is going to be um, good or not. We have no idea. Um, so it could be co-developed by Saber. But um, I, I don't know. Um, this is the, kind of like a big thing for Asper. Because they've been for, known for porting games. But this is their big development game. A nice old public remake. Asper is in the limelight when it comes to this because they're the gonna be the developer of this game and if they fuck this up you know this is kind of like their make it or break it when it comes to this game man. like do they have the cojones to come out from this and make more games from this but it sounds like um, Embracer wants them to do other things I'm not sure what Embracer wants from this game at this point I really don't um, it's kind of hard to say. I mean, I wish we could have some more news from that, but um, this is it. You know, this this is the only article that we have. But uh, damn, this is this is crazy, man. Um, nuts uh, that this is happening. But I, I I kind of expected it because there was no way that this game was going to come out at the end of this year. There's no gameplay. There's no footage. There's nothing. This is a huge project. They're remaking a completely new game. This isn't a remaster, a porting job like in um, Nice Zero Public 2 or 1. You know, this isn't a, <laughs> like a year of making or something like that. This is a couple years, and then this is going to be a couple more years because of this, um, this whole delay and stuff. So this is going to take some time, and it's not going to be an easy thing that's not going to come out from this. This is not, this is a completely new game. So we'll see how they approach this, um, you know, Embracer and Asper and time will tell. We'll, we'll see how this goes and I'll be sure to follow this for sure. Um, I'll give you guys some news when it comes to this, but uh, so far it's not looking good. And as for the restored content mod for the Nice Republic 2 game on the Switch, 
I'll give you guys some more news when that comes out. So far, nothing. Uh, but when that's released, I'll be sure to buy that game and um, see how the Restore Content mod plays. Because uh, I am curious. And uh, with all the delays and stuff and this news, I am curious to see how it plays. And yeah, I mean, best of luck to Asper. It's just, um, just kind of unfortunate how uh, things have played out with them. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. This was just a quick thing uh, I want to mention about uh, the United States Republic remake. And uh, with that being said, please be sure to like this video, comment down below, tell me what you think of this whole news in the comment section below, and subscribe to my channel Django Fat if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.